Ever since the dawn of civilization, people have been fascinated by the sea. Whether beyond the horizon or beneath the surface, it has always been a world of infinite mystery and wonder to us. The oceans cover 70% of the Earth, yet we know more about the solar system. The lower levels of the sea, well beyond the reach of the sunlight, are the least explored places on our planet. They are a realm of extreme cold, intense water pressure, and creatures so bizarre they almost seem unearthly. I'm Donald, and this is my assistant, Bear. Let's make the descent into the deep to meet five of the most amazing creatures that live there. Take her down, first mate, Bear. The Humpback Anglerfish Some of you folks have probably fished by angling. Well, some fish catch their prey using this same technique. They are called anglerfish, and many species can be found in both deep and shallow waters. One deep sea species is the humpback anglerfish, which mostly lives 3,300 to 9,800 feet below the surface and is found in temperate and tropical waters worldwide. Females are considerably larger than the males, and these big ladies are probably what you're thinking of when you hear the word anglerfish. Females can be 7 inches long, while the males only grow to about 1 inch. Females have a rod on their heads that acts as a lure to attract prey. This rod emits light, and this is an example of bioluminescence, which is light given off by living organisms. Their rods are lit up by bacteria called phytoplankton. Males attach themselves to the undersides of females and drink their blood and in turn supply them with sperm to fertilize eggs. Since the females have such large mouths, they can actually swallow prey larger than themselves. The Japanese Spider Crab This is the largest crab in the world. Found at depths of 660 to 2,000 feet, it has a leg span of 13 feet across, a weight of 40 pounds, and a lifespan of 100 years. The carapace is about 12 inches long, but the legs keep growing throughout its life. As its name suggests, it is found mainly in waters around Japan, though outlying populations are found as far south as Taiwan. These crabs are omnivorous and also act as scavengers. A female can lay one and a half million eggs in one season, but few survive to adulthood. When the time comes to spawn, adult crabs migrate to shallower waters about 160 feet deep. The young spend the early part of their lives in this relatively shallow water and migrate to the depths when they reach adulthood. The Frilled Shark This shark has been called a living fossil because it is one of the most primitive living shark species. Its roots go back 80 million years and it has changed very little. The frilled shark is eel-like in appearance, grows to 6.4 feet in length, and is found at depths of 1,640 to 3,280 feet. There are around 300 teeth in its mouth, which provide about 1,000 sharp hooks that are used to trap prey. Its diet is made up mostly of fish and squid. The frilled shark earned its name from the frilly margins of skin surrounding its six pairs of gill slits and it is found throughout the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Pacific Barrel Eye This is one fish you have to see to believe. Its most famous features are its eyes, which are actually inside its transparent skull. These two green orbs are the eyes, which point upward but can rotate forward. The Pacific Barrel Eye grows to about 6 inches long and feeds on zooplankton. It can be found at depths from 2,000 to 2,600 feet below the surface in the Pacific Ocean's northwest region. Other than that, not much else is known about it. The Giant Squid This could be the most famous inhabitant of the deep sea. It has inspired legends of sea monsters like the Kraken attacking and sinking ships. 
yet it is elusive and rarely seen. Found in waters around the world and believed to live at least 2,000 feet down, the largest ever recorded was 43 feet long and may have weighed almost a ton. It has eight arms and two long tentacles that feature sharp toothed suckers and are used to catch prey, which mainly consists of fish, shrimp, and other squids, even those of its own kind. Sperm whales are famous predators of these giants. The whales are often found to have scars from the suckers of the squid. Since giant squids don't exactly want to be on the menu themselves, they can put up a mean fight against the whales. Those are just a few of the many strange and wonderful creatures found in the deep sea. Who knows what others could be lurking in the dark, waiting to make themselves known to the world. Whatever those creatures may be, there is more about the wild world to discover every day. Never stop exploring. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.